Once inside my castle, I began to reflect. Was I, in my comfort, with a close family and a large number of employees, accommodated and accustomed to a good life? After talking with my two faithful friends for a long time, I remembered that I could always trust God because he had always listened to our prayers. That same night, I prayed for a sign, and an angel came to speak to me without hesitating. I gathered my friends and left to face the sea and its storms. Why is that a cutscene? Oh, it's it's the story of whatever that is. 700, 701. Wish they didn't do that. Another cassette tape, but I don't have the player on me. Nothing. That's something. And also an extra painting. Hmm, there really wasn't anything in there. Memento Mori! Shovel Knight! I am calm in the middle of all this chaos because I know what is happening is- or I know what is happening is necessary. Master Christopher is infallible. The Sacred Trail is unquestionable. And the others, who are here, nothing but fucking pigs. They don't know anything. And it's not my job to enlighten them. Everything we did was in the pursuit of humanity's greatest achievement. I know the way, and I'm not afraid. To the principle of free will. Old book. So... Inside my castle, I began to reflect. Family, lots of other people. Custom to a good life, two faithful friends. Oh, so, inside the castle. He began to reflect. That one, that one, and that one. No? Okay, okay, I read that again. That's probably the angel coming to see him. So his castle, he's got family and stuff. He has two friends. Dang. There we go. Fancy Y, Epsilon, and Pi. So, Fancy Y, Epsilon, and Pi. I hate how loud that is. Oh, does that go around the corner? And there's a thing for me to look at? Ooh. Why isn't there a save point here? Lights flickering feels bad. Man. 709, is that open? <laughs> Video game is, is starting to bother me with that. Okay, this is definitely the room mentioned in the instructions, but it's locked. It's a really weird shape for a key. It's not a really weird shape for a heart attack, though. Dude. I have eight bullets, not eight hundred machine gun bullets. Oh. Hey. Video game is too much sometimes. Oh god, such creepy photos too. Oh, well, I can't look in those. Computer and stuff. Empty filing. Oh no, it goes further. Not even ammo in the filing cabinets. Nothing. Oh, they're the same drawers even in the negative world. One, please. I'm pressing C. Take it off. This is directly above our room. The 
beginning thing, that's where stuff fell down. And they're giving me shotgun ammo here now. What the heck is that thing? Is that like another shotgun shell? That takes up two inventory spots. Nothing. Dude, we need more max inventory. This is, uh... I don't want to throw anything away. But I guess if we have to, it's going to be the gauze. You're really going to make me move it. Oh, God. So the crowbar can probably pry open. The elevator. I'm surprised there wasn't something horrifying down there. Memory found. I'm more excited for seven handgun bullets. He does not pick up and put away the camera nearly, nearly fast enough. I fought several wars with several swords. I prayed in despair, for I know that many lives were taken by my hands. I felt alone and abandoned for a long time, but I always had hope. Even when the pain didn't become physical to the point of feeling real. Oh, feeling a real weight crushing my chest. I never succumbed to the devil's desire to take my own life on some rope. Is there a number on this or something? How am I supposed to know which paintings for which one? Are these even the same? Oh, they're just only here when you... Okay. Back to the say again. Fought in wars with several swords, so there's swords. Taken lives. Felt alone. Pain. Don't kill yourself. There's swords. This is so much harder to see here. That's a paralysis demon. That's the last one because it's hanging yourself. Felt alone. Taking lives. Oh, that was wrong. Okay, so weight crushing my chest is definitely the paralysis demon, so that's going to be four. I never succumbed to taking my life on a rope. The one with the rope is five. The swords is one. So, alone is three. So, swords is one. This must be taking lives. Alone. Paralysis demon. Oh, the clock even moved a little. Like, I'm gonna walk down this hallway without my gun. That guy's gonna get up someday, I know it. So, fancy X, fancy Y with umlauts, and then the, 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 the B that makes a double S noise. Fancy X, Fancy Y with the umlauts, B that makes a double S noise. I don't remember what it's called, but I had it in a German class. Shovel Knight, Memento Mori! Or no, that would be King Knight. We had a bunch of them now, we might actually be able to upgrade our shotgun or something. Which, yes, the, in, the improvements and stuff. Camera actually seems pretty amazing, but the... Uh, pistol just helps you spend the bullets faster. This actually increases damage, so if we were going to do one, we should do that. I kind of want to upgrade the camera, though. But this increases our damage, but we don't get much shotgun ammo. What the heck? Fifteen? You're kidding me. I can't believe that one was 10. Can I see way farther now? Eh, that's like double the distance. 
That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. It has no combat utility, but it makes me less scared. Inventory, so very full. Bro, this sucks. The subjects have escaped and invaded the hotel. I know we're not supposed to leave our wings under any circumstances, but I have decided to join some others and flee to the lower levels. For what it's worth, I locked my room and took the key with me. I was assigned to room 709. We were attacked while making our way down. I got separated from the group. Oh, I can actually move this? Can I scroll down? Oh my god, I can. We were attacked while making our way down when I got separated from the group. The block B stairwell is covered with rubble, so I was forced to cross over to A block A through the fifth floor. Should be another key card there in the office that you can use to get over here. I'm currently on the third floor, room 303. If I ever have to run again, I'll leave the key to room 709 here. Damn it. Of course they decided to hide it on the opposite side of the hotel. I have to find a way to get down there. Yeah, they're kind of butt monsters for doing that. Announcement. To the Central Block Security Director. All A Block passwords are available in this document. Remember that for each password you must have an access card. Keep the cards safely in your possession as most of these places are restricted access. Only authorized personnel can transit through these areas, no exceptions. 376, okay. Highlight document, and take. I don't know what highlighting does, but... It should be... Oh, God. I need two inventory spots. First, let's play this. Of all the creatures we've seen here so far, the one that carries that red lantern is by far the worst of them all. He's the only one who appears to be aware of what he's doing. It's almost like he has some kind of conscience. Like... He has a purpose. It almost seems as if he's trying to protect the hotel. We've even seen him kill other creatures. What's even more strange is he seems to disappear at random for days at a time. There's no way a beast like that can just hide without anyone noticing him. There has to be some part of the hotel we don't know about. In any case, if you're listening to this and you ever see that red glow, run, don't fight. Just run. Okay. Zero fighting will happen, Captain. I believe it can fix the crooked elevator door. Oh, it even says that. I don't want it to fix that door. Then I won't be able to hide in there and feel safe. <laughs> 